Hello everybody. In this video I will show you how to export the general ledger account line items, especially for the external auditor. This export is necessary for the annual audit. We need some special columns from the tables, BKPF, the accounting document header, and DSEG, accounting document segment. Now I open the transaction FBL. 3N. Is the general ledger account line item display. This is our default view. I use this transaction to report open closed vendor line items in accounts payable on key dates. Selection criteria include general ledger account, company, code, and many of the data sets of the general ledger master record. We have drill down capability here and various formatting options. Um, normally, we uh, use the whole year for the export because of runtime. And for example, I use only one month. The last day of the January. 2020, execute the report. And uh, the list we will export today is used to verify the accounts of organizations and to ensure the accuracy and completeness of their financial records. This list is also the basis for random samples by the external auditor. Now we see a default layout. Now we will change the layout for the external auditor. For this, we choose the layout. We clear all the display columns because we checked them before and put them back in the column set. And now we sort the column set. It's easier to find our necessary columns. And we start with the first column, it's the account. Second is the cleared and open items symbol. Then the document number. The document number. The document type. And the document date. Then the Posting key, here is it. The next is the amount in local currency. Amount in local currency. And if you miss some columns here in the column set, I'll show you later how to add them. The next is the local currency. Local currency. Then the tax code. And the text. Then the entry date. Where is it here? Then the time of entry. Time of entry. And the last, no, it's not the last, then the username. And the last two columns are the account. BL account. General ledger account. and the offsetting account. Offsetting account number. So, click on enter. And now we have uh, our new layout for the auditor. We see our 
uh, our columns. These columns are important for the auditor, for the samples and so on. And uh, as I said before, if you miss some columns in the column set, you can add them if you click on settings and special fields. Okay, this is uh, information that the table is cross client. And here you have the, the option to add new entries. I try this, click on the button new entry. Then we can choose the table, for example, the accounting document header. And we can choose a field. Take the card type, for example. And we can save this if we want. This is our option to add some columns. If I go back. No, I don't want to save it. But I want to save our new layout. Click on layout. These are our new columns. I can uh, uncheck the, the, the summation. This checkbox. Then I have a flat table. Maybe it's easier for the Excel export. Then I click on layout again and I save this layout. For example, auditor. It's not user specific. Is it is for our colleagues as well. Then I click on OK. And if I reopen the transaction now, FBL3N, I can uh, choose our month. Click on run. Then I have to wait a bit. Okay, this is our default view, but now we can load our uh, example layout. It's the auditor. And here it is our defined layout. And for the export, I go to the menu list, export, spreadsheet, Okay, the system is a bit slow. And then I can choose a name. Click on save. And then the Excel is open and we see our exported list. And this list you can upload to the external auditor. Yes. Okay, you know now how to export the general ledger account line items for the external auditor. I wish you good luck with the audit. Hope to see you at the next videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks.